Once you've selected a template, you're taken to the HTML Wizard's design form, where for the most part, we'll be using simple forms and editors to craft the HTML code necessary for your message. Before digging in, let's get oriented. First, check out the thumbnail of your template and important tips on the right side of the page. The tips give you any special notes and image sizes you need. You'll also see if your template has extra settings, and if so, you'll be able to access those at the bottom of the design form. You might like to click and view the thumbnail so you can see where each feature is organized on the page. This is especially useful for two column templates. So let's get started with the masthead area. The body color allows you to set the outside background color. Dial in the six digit web color of your choice or click the color palette to select one. Simpler is always better though. To upload your logo or masthead, either click Browse to upload the image you've saved on your computer, or click the Image Library button if you already have the image stored in your account. Remember, all images must either be a JPEG or GIF and saved for web at 72 dpi. For more information on images, please see the Working with Images tutorial. Pay close attention to the size of the image you're uploading and be sure to follow the tips for maximum width. Next, enter your title and subtitle. Be sure to save frequently and after doing so, you can preview at any time to see how things look. Notice, each feature contains a header or title of your article, a block of text, a place for a link, image, and caption in most instances. Let's look at the specifics. Type or copy and paste the header of your feature in the box. You can modify the default formatting with HTML tags here, if desired. Next, let's enter some copy. This box can likewise be formatted with HTML tags. However, for those of you who prefer something a little easier, use the HTML editor for what you see is what you get formatting. Click the link to launch the editor. Once it's open, you can format the text with various tools. Hyperlink text, add additional images, insert tables, and many other functions. However, never copy and paste pre-formatted text from an application like Word or even directly from the web, as it will insert all kinds of extraneous code that will make your message look very distorted in email readers. The best way to approach this is to first paste your text into Notepad or Text Edit and then paste it into the editor. You'll save yourself a lot of heartache if you follow this one simple rule. When using the HTML editor, you must click OK and then click Save to save your work. Adding images to your feature is a snap. Again, simply upload the image from your computer or use the image library to select one already loaded in your account. Enter the caption if you'd like to. You may also notice that all of the images have a feature called Image Link and Image Alt. For the image link, you can make the image clickable by entering a URL in the box. The alt text is what your subscribers will see when the images are disabled in their email reader. Alt text is critical in today's email climate to communicate your message even if the images are disabled. Interested in changing your template? You can preview your content in other templates as you're building your message. Simply click on your template name at the top of the page to open the template chooser and view your message in various designs. Click Done to change to a newly selected template or Cancel to stay in your previously selected template. When you're happy with the final preview of your HTML message, you should save the finished version and then return to your main messages page to prepare the text version of the message. We also have a handy video that talks more about that. Your message will be filed in your available messages folders and available to you for editing at any time. All messages remain stored in your account for the life of your account unless you decide to delete them.